Authorities released some new sketches believed to resemble how the I-70, I-35 killer would look today. The killer responsible for six murders in Indiana, Missouri, and Kansas, and potentially two more in Texas. On April 27, 1992, Michael Mick McCown was shot and killed at a family-owned ceramic shop that was located off of 3rd Street in Terre Haute. Zeke Torres has been following this story and breaks down the latest developments. Zeke. Well, Mike, Dana, good evening. I'm standing near the exit of I-70, and that ceramic shop you just mentioned, only about a mile down the road over here. Now, officials tell me they believe all of the victims of the I-70, I-35 killer were randomly selected. And now efforts are going to be changing into answering questions that have been lingering for decades, including why and who. For nearly 30 days, a murder spree in the Midwest. Uh, I, I believe they started in Missouri. And then the next one was in Indianapolis, Indiana, and then we had ours here. Six victims across five cities. They were absolutely random. Now authorities hoping to find the man known as the I-70, I-35 killer. A strong possibility he's still alive, absolutely. A new composite sketch showing what the killer would look like in present day. Detective Troy Davis and Detective Bradley Rumsey with the Terre Haute Police Department say a key to solving this case is using current technology with evidence left at crime scenes. There's just so many things that we can use to try to solve this case now that they didn't have access to back then. So there's no reason why we shouldn't reinvestigate this, look into it again. An FBI ballistics report ties the suspect to all six murders. Uh, the same gun was used and all of these killings that we refer to as the I-70 killer. So that attaches him to all these killings. And the uh, description of the individual as well is the same. It is a very odd weapon. On April 27th, 1992, Michael Mick McCown was shot and killed at a family-owned pottery shop. It was located at 2615 South 3rd Street in Terre Haute. Decades later, his unsolved death remains a question by those who knew him best. Well, I would love to see justice, but nothing brings them back. That's the thing. There really isn't closure. That's a myth. Um, justice would be good. I don't want him continuing to kill. Teresa Lee, Mick's sister, remains hopeful for justice. How much I wish he was here. We've gone through the death of my grandparents, both of my grandparents, both of my parents. And, you know, he wasn't here. And he was a very supportive, kind person. And, uh, you know, it would be nice to have him here. Now, a task force regarding the, regarding the I-70, I-35 killer will be meeting in early November. Now, those cities include Indianapolis, Terre Haute, Wichita, Raytown, and St. Charles, Missouri. Now, they'll be evaluating evidence that may need to be looked at again and potential people of interest. Reporting live in Terre Haute with Local News That Matters, Zeke Torres, WTWO. All right, thanks a lot, Zeke. And you can take another look at the sketches and other information in this case by visiting this story on our website, mywabashvalley.com.